Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna talk about Antonio Puig. So, I tried a lot of fragrance from that brand actually. I tried all three Corum and I tried, I think there's only two, but if there's more than two, I just tried two of the Agua Brava. And it's pretty much the heart of the brand. Agua Brava and Corum is really what makes the brand. So I think I'm able to give a good review of what I think of the brand. And also there's something to that need to be said. Prig is actually umbrella company that own different brand. And I'm not quite sure which other brand they have, but there's other brand that you know absolutely that are owned by Puig and it's important to say because I'm, I'm gonna talk about them but Puig by itself I think what they do is really good the price are pretty cheap of their fragrance and it's most likely because the brand is dying people don't really care about them anymore and I think it's a bit sad because what they do is really nice especially Coram and even Agua Brava is good even their Agua Brava, I don't know, blue or azul or something like that was really a good fragrance, great aquatic fragrance. I'm not a fan of aquatic fragrance, but it's like people that are, I'm sure they will love it. I think it's a great brand. What they do is really nice, really original. It doesn't like break convention or anything, but it makes it sting in a nice way. Still doesn't have blend that are like amazing and really complex and stuff like that maybe like with the exception of Agua Brava and Coram but it does a great job I would say the ginger citrus accord that a lot of fragrance have the way it's made in Coram silver really good really interesting that's a really nice fragrance by itself the Aqua Coram it's an old school aquatic type fragrance really nice it's great for people that enjoy that type of fragrance it's more like in old school than modern like aqua brava azul but still a great fragrance even coram it's my favorite 80s fragrance it smells just amazing i love to wear it in summer even though it's not the kind of fragrance people should wear in summer mostly but i love to wear it in summer it's just good it smells for me it smells like summer the tree the, the leather the tobacco the way it, it shows the pine it's really nice it's beautiful fragrance what they do is great and it's sad that a lot of people overlook them i wish they would keep going and doing product maybe they should try to make some new release that people will love start to buy and or maybe do some branding so people care a bit more about what they do but um, only time will show if they stay or not I don't know if there's countries where they are extremely popular maybe maybe that's why they're still there but here all those fragrances that I've named the exception of Corum I don't have a clue where to buy them and then any physical place I had all of them except for for Corum that I bought a bottle and for Aqua Brava Azul that I got a sample from internet all of them I had to blind buy the bottle to be able to try them I think it's a bit disappointing I really love the original Corum so I was interested to try them but still buying a bottle to try a fragrance is not the kind of thing that people will, would do and when you want to have a decan paying $15 for a bottle that's like 20 it's not a good idea either so I think something needs to be changed so people discover more of these fragrances but they're good and they're worth discovering so hope you enjoyed the video if it's the case well like and share if you have a different or similar thought about Antonio Puig tell me about your point of view of the brand in the comment and if you there's fragrance you love or hate about the brand also write it in the comment so thanks for watching and see you soon